hello here i am going to show you the structures of styloid apparatus the styloid apparatus consists of styloid process and structures attached to it this is lateral side of the skull this is the styloid process and this is a mastoid process this is external acoustic meatus and this triangular plate is called as tympanic plate now coming to the styloid process the styloid process is long slender pointed bony projection that arises from inferior aspect of temporal bone the position of styloid process it lies antero medial to the mastoid process it is directed downwards forwards and slightly medially the length of styloid process ranges from 2 to 3 mm to average length of 2.5 cm now the parts of styloid process this lower pointed end is called as tip of styloid process and the upper part by which it is attached to the base of skull is called as a base of styloid process now the base of styloid process is covered by tympanic plate so this is a tympanic plate it covers the base of the styloid process the styloid process has two components the proximal part is called as a tympano hyal part and lower part is called as a stylo hyal part the tympano hyal part it is nothing but the part in the region of base which is encircled by the tympanic plate and the stylo hyal part it is the distal part of the styloid process which provides attachment to the muscles and ligaments now i'll show you the structures attached to the styloid process and relations this is right side of the head neck face this is a parotid gland this is sternocleidomastoid muscle this is common carotid artery the common carotid artery divides into external carotid artery and internal carotid artery this is a internal jugular vein this is posterior belly of digastric muscle now i'll show you the styloid process so this is the styloid process the relations of styloid process superficially or laterally styloid process is overlapped by parotid gland and it is crossed by two structures lateral side of the base of styloid process is crossed by facial nerve when it emerges from stylomastoid foramen and enters the parotid gland and the tip so here this is a tip superficially or laterally the tip is crossed by external carotid artery so this is a external carotid artery then deep relations for that i'll retract this posterior belly of digastric and stylohyoid muscle on this side so that we can see the styloid process from this uh, from this side okay so this is a styloid process now structures deep to the styloid process are internal carotid artery internal jugular vein and last four cranial nerves so 9 10th 11th and 12th this is ninth cranial nerve that is glossopharyngeal nerve which accompanies the stylopharyngeus muscle this is 10th cranial nerve that is vagus which lies between internal carotid artery and internal jugular vein this is 11th cranial nerve that is accessory nerve that runs backwards over the internal jugular vein and enters the posterior triangle of neck and this is a 12th cranial nerve that is hypoglossal nerve so all these are the structures deep to the styloid process now coming to the structures attached to the styloid process so i'll retract this external carotid artery to this side now we can see the styloid process here now the structures attached to the styloid process are three muscles and two ligaments the three muscles are styloglossus stylopharyngeus and stylohyoid and the two ligaments are stylohyoid ligament and stylomandibular ligament i'll show you all these structures now this muscle is the styloglossus muscle the styloglossus muscle arises from anterior surface of styloid process and inserts on lateral side of the tongue the styloglossus muscle it pulls the tongue upwards and backwards and its action is opposite to that of 
genioglossus muscle the next muscle is stylopharyngeus muscle so this is a stylopharyngeus muscle it arises from medial side of base of styloid process and it inserts on posterior border of lamina of thyroid cartilage the action is stylopharyngeus muscle along with other two longitudinal muscles of pharynx that is palatopharyngeus and salpingopharyngeus muscle uh, elevates the larynx during swallowing and during phonation also along with other two longitudinal muscles of pharynx this muscle shortens the pharynx during swallowing now remember that this stylopharyngeus muscle it is always accompanied by the glossopharyngeal nerve that is ninth cranial nerve so this is a glossopharyngeal nerve and this nerve supplies this stylopharyngeus muscle the third muscle is stylohyoid stylo so this is a stylohyoid muscle it arises from posterior surface of styloid process midway between base and tip it runs along the upper border of posterior belly of digastric muscle and it inserts on hyoid bone at the junction of body and greater corno the action of this muscle is it draws the hyoid bone upwards and backwards and elongates the floor, floor of mouth also along with other suprahyoid muscle this muscle helps to fix the hyoid bone so these are the muscles now coming to the ligaments first is stylohyoid ligament so here you can see the tip and this is a stylohyoid ligament which is attached to the tip of styloid process and the other end is attached to the lesser cornu of hyoid bone the next ligament is stylomandibular ligament stylomandibular ligament uh, here i have cleaned that ligament so i cannot show you it uh, extends from the styloid process to the angle of mandible so these are the structures attached to the styloid process now coming to the development of the styloid apparatus the styloid process stylohyoid ligament and stylohyoid muscle these three structures are derived from or develop from mesoderm of second pharyngeal arch and therefore stylohyoid muscle is supplied by nerve of second pharyngeal arch that is facial nerve then stylopharyngeus muscle stylopharyngeus muscle is developed from mesoderm of third pharyngeal arch and therefore it is supplied by nerve of third pharyngeal arch that is glossopharyngeal nerve then styloglossus muscle the styloglossus muscle is developed from occipital myotomes and therefore it is supplied by hypoglossal nerve which is a nerve of uh, occipital myotomes and the stylomandibular ligament is formed by thickening of investing layer of deep cervical fascia now coming to the applied the eagle syndrome eagle syndrome uh, is due to unusual elongated styloid process or it may be because of ossified stylohyoid ligament and the symptoms are it causes pain and foreign body sensation in the throat especially in tonsillar region it also causes pain in the neck region and referred pain to the ear of same side so this is called as eagle syndrome the styloid process uh, so this eagle syndrome can be treated medically and in uh, if the uh, symptoms are not relieved then it can be treated by surgical excision of the elongated styloid process so this was all about styloid apparatus thank you